The latest movie by the Coen brothers, which is called Inside Lewin Davis, is about Lewin Davis in a week in his life as he navigates through the Greenwich folk scene in 1961. And this uh, stars Oscar Isaac, uh, who plays Lewin Davis, and it's got another great cast of uh, John Goodman, Carrie Mulligan, Justin Timberlake. So it's got a great cast. And I gotta say that Inside Lewin Davis is a really good film. Um, I'm I'm a fan of the Coen Brothers movies, but not the, like the biggest fan. One of my favorite movies of them is The Big Lebowski. So I was really looking forward to seeing Inside Lewin Davis. Cause I love the I look I love the style of the movie and the trailers. It looked really great, and the folk music was uh, rather soothing to me. So I was really looking forward to that. I thought it'd be like a calm, nice movie, and I gotta say it was. Inside Lewin Davis doesn't have a strong plot going for it. It takes like a week span of him just going from people's places because uh, he's doesn't have a house, so he's just um, couch hopping from place to place, and he's got this uh, cat that he's looking after, and he's just trying to get money and everything, and he meets some people along the way, and some issues are going on along the way, and he's just trying to get his music out there, but also at the same time get his life together. And I, I think that Oscar Isaac does a really great job here. I loved his performance in this movie, along with Carrie Mulligan. I love the way that she cusses in the movie. It's just sexy the way that she says it. Uh, Justin Timberlake's in here just for a little bit of time, but the Coen brothers have created this this very good music and the soundtrack is amazing. I think the music adds so much to the movie and the way that they um, the way that they, the way they filmed it and the way that it's styled and the cinematography and the way that the music combines it's so perfect combination of the, the camera work and the music it just fits so perfectly so inside Lewin Davis the way that Oscar Isaac portrayed this character um, Lewin Davis did a really good job and you know he's he wants to get his music out there and he knows he's struggling and he works hard at it and he's throughout these issues in his life and it's kind of hard to watch depressing at times to watch him be this way because you know he's a great musician and it's the folk scene in 1961 was hard and just wouldn't sell and that's what he loved and he just it just wasn't working so it was hard to see that um those scenes but the Coen brothers do a really good job of capturing all of that and um, Inside Lewin Davis is the Coen brothers last film I heard but I I hope not because they did a really good job here and one of 2013's best movies best mu music movies the, the soundtrack was really great I loved just sitting back and relaxing hearing the music because lately I've been getting into music and understanding music more and the music that they played in this was really great. It makes me want to go out there and buy the soundtrack because it's really great. And so the everything that they did in the movie, the, the cinematography, the, the camera work, the story, the characters, it all came together to make a really great movie inside Lou and Davis. I'm gonna have to give it A minus um, because it was really really great. There were a few um, scenes that kind of dragged out um, and, it, and it, it ended abruptly um, in my opinion. Yeah, I would rather have seen s some more things added to it, so I'm going to have to give it an A-, minus. but everything else was a really, really great movie. So Inside Lewin Davis, I know it wasn't nationwide, it was limited release, so I had to go out of my way to go see it, which sucks, but I, I am glad I did because Inside Lewin Davis is one of the Coen Brothers' best movies, in my opinion. So this is Justin Watches Movies with his review of Inside Lewin Davis. I hope I had a great weekend, and I'll see you later. Bye.